Hi everybody. Today I am going to show you how to analyze this small building. This building it is subjected to a wind loading. On this windward side there is a uniform normal pressure of 15 kPa and on suction side I mean leeward side there is a suction pressure of 5 kPa. Our task is to determine horizontal and vertical component of reactions at the pin A, B and C. So let's start from the scratch. So click here and go for this two D. Now click geometry axis definitions. So what is here? 3 meter, 3 meter in x directions and 3 meter and 3 meter in z directions. So let's do that. So here I am clicking 2 for repeat and this is 3 meters at this. Then for Z, change this numbering to ABC, click 2 for repeat. This is also 3 meter in Z directions. So we got, apply it. Now we got the axis. Now, let's click on library structure it will be easier to get this gable arch this gable arch so we are choosing here also this one like gable okay got it now what it says this is 6 meter and vertical 3 meter and slope it will be also 3 meter but slope will be 45 because 3 by 3 so it is 45 so let's do that so here number of a span will be 1 It is 1. Length will be 6 meter. Height will be vertical parts. It will be 3 meters. Angle, as I told, it will be 45. We can look it again. This angle will be 45 because 3 meter here also 3 meters. And here also 3 meters, I mean 45, not 3 meters. Already we have done H, we took 3 meter, as I told, vertical part. This part will come automatically if we take 45, as it is 3 meter, vertical height will be also 3 meters. So we are done here, apply it. See, we got it. Now section, we are not concerned with this insert it will be automatically to be at this zero zero points so apply and okay we are done now if we look at the diagram we can see here it says there is a pin also because pin is at a b and c these two support will be pin as well as at that point B, it will be also pin. 
So let's do that. And this support, it will be actually pinned. We changed it. Again, this one also, it will be pinned. Changed. You can do this by using this support also. Now here, we need to provide the pin here. So how to do that? Go geometry, go for releases, pin one end. How it looks? Like this. Close it. So pin one end. Click here. We got it. And from this part also, click here. We got it. So this is pin. Close it. Now we have to apply the loads. Click on load types. Choose dead load. Add it. Close this. Now go for applying loads. In this regard, I have to tell something. Here it is said 15 kPa on the windward side. 15 kPa means kilo newton per meter square. So kilo newton per meter square means 1 meter by 1 meter. It is 15. But we have to take this 2 meter, 2 meter, 4 meter width and 1 meter in this direction. So our area will be 4 by 1 multiplied by per square meter 15 kilonewton per square meter. So it will come as 15 multiplied by 4. It will give us 60 kilonewton per meter for this 4 meter width. Same way for 5 we have to multiply it by 4 it will give 20 kilonewton per meter. That is why this direction windward side 60 and 60 kilonewton and leeward side 20 and 20 kilonewton per meter. So we have to apply as per this. So what you will do here and here. First, we apply this vertical part. So take click on bars. Go for these uniform loads. It is on x direction as per this. So if it is x direction, so we have to remove this. Our load will be here. 60 on x direction. And this will be global. Add this. Apply here. Got it. Again go for 60. We will apply 20 on the leeward side. And this is global. It will be here. So add this. And it is positive because it is in the same directions. So add this and apply here. We got it. Now for this slope part, what we will do? We will choose the local axis. The reason is we will understand the directions of the load very clearly. Now it's perfect. We have to apply 60 like this and this red means it is Z axis. So when I click here, Right now, we will not put on 20. Here, we will remove it. We will go for Z axis. Minus of 60. Because we know this red direction, it is Z and our load will be this direction. But red Z direction is opposite. That is why I put here minus. And this will not be local because I am using here. I mean, this will not be global. I am using here local. So click on local. Now add it. Click here. Got it. 
again go here for this part you have to apply 20 because we know it is 20 look at it is 20 already here you apply 20 here also will be 20 so this 20 here we will put 20 but we will remove this minus sign because we don't need it why our load is this direction and z also is the same direction so we don't need to put minus so it is plus add it and also it will be local add it click here you got it so we are done we remove the local axis we are perfect with everything but here we have to look at one thing load table let's look at this self weight i don't want so remove this self weight gone so we are with these four loads now it is perfect we will go for analysis. Skip. Do you want to continue? Yes. Okay, close it. Now, here we can go for say result, diagram bars, what do you will do? We will go for reaction because it asks us to find reactions here and here. These two support reactions we need to check. So fx and fz diagram descriptions as well go for parameters click here for the text apply it close it now look at what we have now if we compare First, we compare this. So, what it is? Let's compare this. This is A and this is C. So, we'll compare this AX, AY, CX, CY. So, let's look at. You see here. This is A, this is C. So, Fz means here Ay because in this book Ay means vertical. 120. We got it. And Ax. Look at Ax. Horizontal force Ax minus 285. Look at 80, 285. Here it is showing 285. Again, for this part, we got, say, vertical, we got 240. This is CY. Where is CY? This one. CY, 240. Look at 240. Horizontal FX, it means CX. Where is CX? Look at CX, 195. So we got 195. So we got the perfect results for A and C. For A and C, we got perfect results. And I think that's all for this.